if you are here for a celebration of Jamiroquai's bass lines and a celebration of the bass players of Jamiroquai, which there might be more than you think, that's right. Well, that you're in the right place. So which riff should we jump into first? I feel like we should break down Deeper Underground. Such a monster riff. I feel like, let's just hear it one more time. Let's do it. Ow! I mean, what jumps out to you? Tone? Fox. Yeah, right. And, and then, how to articulate yes. this. Is, is this Zender? Is it Zender? Is it Zender? I do know that it actually is. If you know any different, let me know in the comments, but I'm gonna put my Zender flag right here, right here, okay? Yeah, like Zender was on the writing team okay. for it. I think he was in the video. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> but before we jump into how to play it, how do you get the tone? Okay, so You're the all- You're tone man. Well, all right. You're tone houses. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I am trying to get this amazing sound. I mean, I'd love to know how Zender did it or whoever is playing bass. We think it's Zender. I am doing it by compressing hard first. Then I'm going into an octave pedal, right? And I'm getting equal amount of octave and dry signal. Then I'm going into a fuzz. Then I'm going into a chorus. And then I'm going into a gate. And check it out, if I get rid of some of those things, like let's say I get rid of the fuzz. Oh, so sad. A sad. Right, or if I get rid of the octave. It's a combo of Combining all of that. Combining them all, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Now the riff itself, it's like, you know, it's good old D flat. Right. <laughs> you know, D flat, and we've got a, and then we'll go this. That's the vibe, so just take your time with those squiggles, or yeah. some people call them stings. I'm only doing them with my index finger and my fourth finger, bit of rock there for you, okay? So, and I'm only going up, I'm just going like once over the fret. And back. It sounds good with a synth too when you do it too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so next up we've got Traveling Without Moving, and we've got two bass players. We've got Paul Turner, yep. and we've got Stuart Zender. Yeah. Actually, Stuart came before Paul, but this one, should we go with Paul first? Hear his vibe? Sure. Slapping. In your face. <laughs> yeah. This is an unapologetic. <laughs> yes. This band is so <laughs> good. I know. They ah. are monstrous. When that drum beat comes in, it's My just, word. the pocket is so huge. It's incredible. <laughs> don't yeah. even know if I can do the rest of the video. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> where, 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 where are we supposed to go after that? I mean, I feel like it might be time to slap a little bass. Give us some slapping. Yeah, all right. So we've got Paul Turner on this, who is reinterpreting the original, which you're going to hear in a minute. Yeah. But we have him going. So, yeah, break that down if anybody wants to see how you're doing that. Yeah, so it's. And if you lay your fingers down on the string for that fretting hand slap, you're looking for a percussive sound here. Practice it like that and then. Yeah, that's right. But then play up to speed. Up to speed, go! Do you want to hear Stu Zender do it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, totally different vibe. Yes. All fingers. We've grabbed the midsection of the track, the breakdown, and you can hear the bass better in this part of the track. Check it out. Ooh. Hey. Rounds or flats? Sounds, I think, flat. Yeah, it sounds flat. <laughs> Oh man, remember DJs? <laughs> <laughs> now next up, we've got one of my favorites. If I like it, I do it. Stuart Zender on bass. And the thing that I absolutely love is that the bass line plays the melody. So oh, JK yes. is singing the melody, and that is the bass line. Right. Check it out. Now, 
Next up from the return of the space cowboy, Stuart Zender. Stuart Zender. On bass. Yeah. Light years with this unreal riff, fuzzy bass with piano doubling, right? There's, there's so much going on. It's like this unison riff. It's one of my favorites. I, I like there's a bass up high. There's maybe a bass up down low. <laughs> and then a big piano down low big too. Big piano. Right. And some really tricky time and stuff going on where they're moving the beat. Oh, check it out. you are doing yourself a disservice by not knowing and listening to these albums. Outrageous. <laughs> Go and listen to them today, the rest of the day. That is my base prescription to you. It's mandatory. It's mandatory. Yes. <laughs> it's a great technique workout as well because you're just going down the pentatonic scale. Back up, back up. All pentatonic scale. With that flat five in it. Yeah. You don't know that, don't come to my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like we have to do Virtual Insanity. Probably. Massive hit. Huge. Stuart Zender. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we've got the original here, and then we've got Stuart Zender on his Instagram showing us how to do the chorus, and it's incredible. Let's check out the original, then we'll check out his Insta. This is tricky. Yes. That bit. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I know. Hey, so I just want to take a quick moment to send all of my condolences and love to the family and friends of Derek McIntyre. But unfortunately, Derek passed away in a tragic accident just a few days ago. So yeah, I just wanted to send all my condolences. If you've got, you know, any favorite Derek bass lines that you want to share down below in the comments or some, you know, memories of Derek down below in the comments, please do so. Um, he was just such a fantastic bass player. Now, with that said, let's get back to the video. I am allergic to these bass lines. It's the, it's the disco octave, right? Let me tell you a quick 10 second story. My first pro gig when I was a kid, I was like 18, 19 years old, and it was full of this stuff. And all I used to do was... <laughs> okay, and I couldn't do that. And we're gonna show you how to do that in a minute, but I couldn't do it. And somehow it subliminally made its way into my brain. Now, every time I hear like a disco octave bass line, a little bit of me dies inside. But it is without a doubt, I think, one of their best bass lines. Crazy thing, it's not Zender. It's Nick Fife. It's not Nick Fife. It's Paul Turner. It is not Paul Turner. It is Derek McIntyre. PTSD. Oh. <laughs> it, it's it's I mean, great, it's great. It's a great bass line. For you, for you, for you. It's got a vibe. But listen, remember, we've got the tab and notation for this bass line in the description down below. But if somebody hasn't played a disco bass line like that, the good old... I know. Octaves, it's where tricky. do they get started with it? Okay, well, if you just want to play single octaves, what I recommend, start out nice and light, and I'm playing first finger followed by second finger, okay? But this isn't that. This is double on the octave. Take it, take it, take it. Yeah, which is really tricky. So I would recommend playing first, first, second. <laughs> is that it? No. <laughs> it's doubles and then singles up, right? I didn't, so I didn't have... get the gig, I didn't get the gig. <laughs> it's doubles. 
Then up the uh-huh. singles. I tell you what is great about that um, standard bass line. I hate to say it, <laughs> but it, it's it's you can create a really busy bass line, yeah. a lot of movement with only playing roots. Right, so right. You, so and you'll hear that you're like chromatically moving through all of the harmony. The chords are going down. And you're just like having to follow those roots. Bass line's really busy. Yes. So it does, unfortunately, oh, does it? have its purpose. Oh, does it? Mm. It sure does. Absolutely. That's one of the best Jamiroquai bass lines of all time. Hey, dude, yeah. we've, we've had a lot of Zender. We have. And I'm not saying we can have too much Zender because, you know, he was like the original bass player. Right. He sort of like paved the path. But Paul Turner has been bass player for Jamiroquai for maybe longer. Oh, really? That, yes, like, yeah, obviously, right. like, longer than Stuart Zender was. And he was the bass player behind one of the greatest ever bass lines. For sure. This is actually how I got into Jamiroquai. It was from the Abbey Road sessions, watching and hearing Paul Turner play Runaway. Get Outrageous. It's so good. It's so tight, isn't it? Oh! I ain't letting you off the hook. <laughs> There's some disco octaves. <laughs> okay, before we go into more disco octaves, I'm cutting you off. No, so check it out. How do people start playing this thing? And again, we've got that tab and notation down below if you want to grab it for free. Okay, I think you gotta go fourth finger C here, and then we're playing this line. So coming straight up from the E string to the G string. Right? Then we have. Right? So we yep. have. So again, the whole thing. Dude, 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 dude. Listen, I want to sneak one in. We've got to do this because everybody's always like, oh, who is the best bass player in Jamaica? Well, is it Stuart Zender? Is it Paul Turner? Well, what happens if, yeah, come here. What if Nick Fife recorded the funkiest bass line that Jamaica ever released. You know this? Do I know this? Come on, let's go! Oh. Hey, hey, uh -huh. Woo. Hey, hey, but that isn't it. Oh. <laughs> but that isn't it. That isn't, uh -huh. isn't it. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? That isn't it. It comes actually later on in this track. Check this out. Here it is. And every time he goes round, yes. that rip, there's another cool little bass fill it puts in. Here we go. Yes, yes. Come on. Hey. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you guys, make sure to grab the PDF in the description below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we can bring you more bass goodness. Okay. I know before anybody lights me on fire in those comments down below, we made this video and I forgot to add in one of Jamiroquai's greatest ever bass lines. <sighs> Mr. Moon, bassist, obviously, Stuart Zender album, Return of the Space Cowboy. I apologize. It must have been a long day. Anyway, so here, let's take this video out with Mr. Moon. <laughs> 